Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Gamma Trade Show 2017. I'm Z Garcia. I am here with Chris Handy What's happening? of Perplexed Games, and he's going to be showing us a, a plethora of uh, a, new, a new string of these little games that he's been coming out with for some time now. So you got a whole new swath of these Yes, now. we do. We've got eight new little babies. That's so, right. <laughs> yeah, these are coming to retail uh, next month. Okay, excellent. So um, lots of fun stuff. And this for is them. actually a display case yes. for these. that will look like this on the shelves. Absolutely. So, you know, look for look for the logo, look for the, the little cool display. It's neat how many games you can fit on this. Yeah. And that's, that's just very different. Very dense. So, oh, yeah, it is. So we're going to get into, uh, we're going to take a look at, what, three of these a little more closely? Yeah, okay. we did a few last year as previews, so we're going to look at uh, Box first. Cool. This is um, can be played with two or three players um, individually. You can play with four or six players as teams. Okay. Okay. Um, it's basically most points wins. You're trying to create uh, boxes with four points of your team color. Okay. Okay. On a grid. And so the first thing you do is you're going to deal out one of these six secret goal colors. Gotcha. And um, you'll have a starting card out here in the So this would be hidden, but. Yeah, that would be hidden. You would show it to uh, all your teammates. All right. And then you're going to deal out the box cards to each player and or team. All right. Um, so we'd have something like that. You'll have one in your hand at any given time, and you must place it such that the um, dots continue. So you could place it like this, 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 this. You could do this, 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 this. You can't do this. Okay. Okay. Um, you can cover up to four Ooh. dots. So I could do this, 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 but not that. Okay. Okay. Great. So eventually, you're trying to create squares. So through continuous play, um, I might try to do something like this. I am trying to build a green square. If I can get another green dot there somehow, I'm not sure how I can do it. But you see where I'm headed. Yep, yep. Um, something like this. That'll do it. So, and you can have void. So this is actually one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So um, that, if, if green was my secret color, which it is, I'm going to get four points at the end of the game because there's four on a side. Gotcha. Okay? It has so to be a square, not a rectangle. It has to be a square. Okay. Yep. So you're trying to see what your opponents are building, cover it, and kind of build out yours as well. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty Sounds intense. Sounds really thinky, it, yeah. It's very thinky. Ten is the biggest square you can score. So even if you have a bigger one, it'll score zero. You're not penalized, but we're trying to keep the game contained inside. So um, okay. it's pretty cool. Wow, this yeah. is like a brain melt. It melter. will burn the brain. <laughs> so All that's right. box. Uh, very simple rules, but a lot to think about, a lot of considerations there. All right, cool. Um, I should mention also while you're grabbing the other one that these games all have right on the boxes here, like you did with the first uh, set of these. Yep. They'll tell you right on the sides of the boxes here the, uh, the number the game is in the series, as well as uh, a category and a, a numerical ranking for how intense it is. That's so correct. it's a casual game, intermediate, or a challenging game. Yeah. So it's another thing to, to check out and figure out, okay, the game session today is going to be pretty casual, so let's stick with the lighter games. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty handy stuff to have. And by handy, you're just trying to use my last name in that right. intentionally. Well, you're the one who did it with a game you designed. Yeah, I know. So. It's stupid. Uh, you know, that's, that's <laughs> how it is. All right, so this is Dig. This is two to four players. And um, here, Pretty if you sure could... we're like off the screen. Oh, no, we're, we're not. Close. We're good. Go ahead and finish over there All right, for me. we got it. All right, so um, this is Dig. And each player will play as a dog. And you're going to put the dog cards on either side. It doesn't matter which side of the row you're on. Okay. And during the game, you're, you're trying to pick up bones, dig them up in the yard, and deliver them to their corresponding colored dog bowls. Okay. And at the end of the game, you'll score based on those bone values. Okay? Got it. Um, on your turn, you have three actions. You can move, you can dig, or you can drop off. All right. Okay. Your normal move is four cards. So one, two, three, four. Okay. That's reduced for each bone that you hold in your hand. So uh -huh. if I've got two bones in my hand, I can only move two spaces if I want to move. Carrying them. Yep. Um, you may 
dig as an action, which means you take that card into your hand. You can put it back if you want, mm -hmm. or you can keep it. Um, if you already have three cards in your hand, um, and you bring a fourth one in, you must put one back, because three is the most you can hold. Okay. Okay? And there's a little legend right here to help. Yep. Um, so let's say I dug that, and my last action was to move again. One, two. I'll just move there. Um, the, the first thing we do is we close up these voids, and we take that last card, and it replaces Ooh. the void. Okay. Okay. Now, what you're going to find on each one of these cards is a little scent marker. This scent marker, and there are two cards per scent marker. So this is a red blue, and this is a red blue. Well, one of these has a blue bone, and one of them has a red bone. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so that's your information on what you, you're trying to collect out there. And when all of these cards get gobbled up, basically only these bowls will be next to the doghouse. Right. Okay. Right. Well, those um, locations of those bowls will dictate the value of these bones. So the closest bowl is worth five points. So purple is worth five in this game. Okay. Red will be worth four, three, two, and one. Huh. So by digging, you're manipulating where those bones are going to land, or where the bowls are going to land. Because you refill the hole the same exact way as you did with the scent card there, yes. right? Yes. So when, there's a, when gotcha. there's a bowl at the end, whoever digs next, that bowl will go into that void. So there's a lot of interesting dynamics like that happen there. like jockeying for position a yeah, little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So okay. there's, it has a stock holding mechanic to it. Um, it's really cool. This that is sounds kind of, very clever, yeah. actually. That's a really, I love that you can make something jump to a place that is technically closer to the doghouse. Right. That means it'll move much later, though. And, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of tough to figure out where, you know, something's going to end up ultimately. Yep. And once something lands here, it'll be there permanently. So everybody will know, oh, well, red bones are worth four Time this to game. start scooping yeah. those up. So you right. might start digging more here. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is actually a rated one game because it's pretty simple mechanically. Um, this is a great game. It's really fun. Sounds cool. Yeah. I like it. So that plays two to four. All right. Excellent. And finally, we'll do Spy. This is a two to four player game. This is a tableless game. So you can play in line. Oh, okay. And if you're here at Gamma and you want a copy of these, come to me. Come to our booth. And it's uh, 337. And I'll give you a copy of Spy for free. So come see us. All right, there you yeah. go. Um, I'll give you those. Okay. Basically, we have a set of cards here. A couple of them are bombs. A couple of them are safes. And then a couple of them are top secret folders. Okay. Okay. Bombs, saves, top secret folders, and this and a is spy. a spy. And he's two-sided. Okay. Okay. At the beginning of the game, we're going to set our hand so we can kind of decide where we want things to go. Okay. Which order. Uh, uh, we'll all the bomb cards, all the bombs are going to be with the lit side down, so they're unlit at the beginning of the game. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and that's an important part that I'll get to in a second. All right. So basically, when everybody's ready, we expose our hand, and that's what we see. We can see where the spy is, and that's it. Right. Okay. So on your turn, you can either... Um, Move or spy. You can do both, either or or neither. Move or spy or neither. Yes. Um, so if you want to move, basically wherever your spy is, he can move the number that he is facing in, in your hand. So right now, um, if I move two, I would go one, two. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you know as my opponent that this is a two card. Okay. Right? Yes. And you can track that for the rest of the game. Once I get there, I can spy. Um, so I would spy, let's say I want to spy this card in your hand. Now we look at it in a mirror fashion. So basically, one, two, three cards over, one, two, three. You're going to tell me the type. So it's either a bomb or a safe or a folder. And it is a safe. It is a safe. Mm -hmm. Is it the safe with the one on it? Yes. Okay. So that is actually what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to expose, in order, your safes and then your top secrets. Gotcha. So, because it's the safe number one, that's going to flip out to face all the So opponents. I'll just do that. 
Exactly. And you'll know what it is now. Yes, all Got your it. opponents know. Now I'm trying to expose your safe number two. Okay. Okay? So that's the end of my turn. Um, let's say that I were to spy on a bomb. Okay. Okay? You're going to go you got to do that sound effect. It's very okay. important. Okay? And then you're going to actually turn it over oh boy. to the lit side. Now it's on. Now it's okay. on. Now it's on. Gotcha. If anybody spies that card again, they're eliminated. Do you have to say boom at that point? Yes, you can. You don't have to, but you can. You want to make them okay. feel really bad. It. Whatever it takes. Um, okay, so the other thing about this, too, is that um, prior to moving or spying, you can flip your spy in the direction he's facing. So basically, your turn could be um, flip, and then move one, and then flip again, and spy this card. Got it. So you can always flip intermittently. Okay. 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 Now, one more. There's a lot to this game. Uh, well, this is this is a chat. This is ranked it's a three. Challenge. Yes. So here's the thing. Your hand is a loop. So um, this card is actually next to this card. Oh. So wow. if I move two and I'm facing this card, it would go one, and I can move over here, and then two. So for every card you actually cross over. That counts as a card. Okay. 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 So Very cool. that also means Z that when I'm here, I'm facing this card hmm. in your hand. Of right. Course. Right. Right. Okay. Did all that make sense? That I all made sense. This is very clever. It. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this is for two players. Two. Two to four. Two to four. Players. Two to four. Yes. Okay, so we have. With, oh, we you have, have two a, more different yeah, colors. We have a black of spy and this spy as well. Purple. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, that's all the time we've got today. Yes. But uh, yeah, very nice. So again. Uh, perplexed games, a whole swath of games here. You can check out. They fit right in your pocket. Come, ch come uh, check them out. And if you're here, like Chris said, come get a spy. Yeah, for free. Swing by the booth. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Z. Really appreciate it. Yep. We'll see you next time.